Like a lot of these time movies, this one does not want to tell you how long or even have the character estimate really how many times they've been doing this. Hi hello everybody, the Gringo Scott here, bringing you another daily dose of movie reviews and life lessons. Today we're looking at the map of Tiny Perfect Things, a 2021 movie. Be sure to subscribe for interesting movie themed activities with life lessons. Now, let's get started. Let's check out the map of Tiny Perfect Things 2021 movie. From the internet. Two teens develop a bunny romance while stuck in an endless time loop. They also have a bunch of philosophical discussions while they're having the little rom-com buddy building buddy relationship theme. Their goal becomes possibly because there's nothing else to do when your life's repeating over and over again is to map out all the unique perfect little moments throughout the town. So for example, maybe a moment of an eagle coming down and catching a fish. Or a kid that does the perfect skate jump. Yeah. Things like that. And that more or less summarizes this movie. Deeper meaning on this one, guys. So my personal goal is to reduce suffering in this reality, reduce suffering for myself and for others around me and help others teach them how to reduce suffering for themselves and for others as well. Propagate it, you know, leave this reality better than it was before I got here. That's my goal. Question. Question. That goal, which I want to do, how would it be affected by a time loop that kept repeating the same day over and over again? When I was younger, I used to think it was really cool. The whole Groundhog Day, that would be awesome. You just repeat, you could never have to do any responsibility. You could just be all addicty and impulsive. It doesn't matter, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm older now and I know that lifestyle sucks and it's not fun at all. So I really like this trying to build a good life, trying to build a, a life that affects others in a positive way, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, how does this time loop thing affect it? Unfortunately, guys, it really affects it because all I can do is improve on myself on this time loop. And at the end of the day, everything gets erased. So I can't affect people in a positive way. I can affect them for my pleasure to see them happy in that moment that I made them happy. But it gets erased. They can't go on and they can't propagate it. So literally, I can improve myself internally, but there is no external improvement. There's no external improvement. And more important, there's no propagation of the message or how to do things that I learned to share with other people. It just kind of dies out every day. Because in order to build a good life, to build a life worth living, one has to use the ability of time progression, daily goal setting of long-term and short-term goals, and working on something every day towards a goal. Well, if it gets erased all the time, you can have the internal things like, yeah, now I know how to speak French, but you can't teach anyone French. You can't propagate it. This kind of dies with you. you. What, what I, I thought, thought might, might be fun, fun. Uh, seems, seems like, like a, a nightmare, nightmare after all. <laughs> No, thank you. That's my take on this, guys. But with all my advice on this channel, you can take what you want and leave the rest. I'm the expert. I'm the guy. Overall opinion of this movie. The bad. Like a lot of these time movies, this one does not want to tell you how long or even have the character estimate really how many times they've been doing this. And for some reason, I really want to know that like Groundhog Day... How long was he in that time period? I heard it was like 10 years maybe or something like that. That was an estimate or something like that. But then I also heard it was like 100 years. Why can't they just tell us? They don't tell us on them either. I'm like, how long was she doing this before he did it? What, 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 what? Uh... <laughs> A little draggy and some classic modern teen drama haves to have. But not too much to complain about really though. The good. I really like how they had the romantic struggle within the time loop between the two and that Margaret, the one of the, the female character protagonist played by Catherine Newton has to struggle and Mark has to discover what's going on with her. I thought that was really cool too. Cause it's like, well, we don't know what's going on with her. Something's weird with her. What's going on? And we have to discover it with him. It keeps things rather interesting. Yes. It even has a morale to the story thing, like a thing to learn, you know, a lesson to learn from the movie. And then that's really cool too. In summary, guys, this movie is a modern teen romantic dramedy. I made that up, I think. 
set in the world of a time loop with two teens in it. Yes, it's kind of classic teen drama and kind of classic Groundhog Day time loop type of movie. Except, Except. Except. they managed to make it different yet comfortable. I feel familiar with it, but not familiar with it. I enjoyed the movie and I think if you like the two genres, teen dramas and time loop movies, you're gonna like this one as well. This is why I'm giving The Map of Tiny Perfect Things, the 2021 movie, a 7.5 out of 10, guys, 7.5 out of 10. Hey, yeah, boy.